What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We are taking on risky business. This is mission number seven um, in the campaign. This is hardcore, of course. And what we're going to do is try to get through this one fairly quickly, fairly efficiently. So uh, the first part of this, we're actually here in Firecats and Tiger Claws. And what we're going to end up doing is taking up the left lane with minimal resistance in the left lane. Uh, from the Blood Kings, and we'll get some hissers, but that'll be pretty minimal resistance through the first part of this. Uh, and then in the second part of this, well, you'll see. But uh, we ended up switching into probably all, almost all Bastions, give or take, to kind of get through it all. But you'll see what I'm talking about. Remember, the mission's simple. Hack the Blood King mainframe, swipe their hard drives, and get out. Triangulation puts the jamming beacon at the top of this mountain. Okay, that's, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Hack him and get out as quickly as possible. Again, we're going to take up the left lane here. We'll have minimal resistance by taking the left lane so we can get up to this second portion of this fairly quickly. Just a couple guys here. Got some hissers along the way. Nothing too crazy. Hissers, of course, but I'd rather fight the hissers than, uh, ah, than have to fight some of the other guys, all the Blood Kings along the way. Christite. Mm -hmm. such a thick shell. If you went through what she did, you'd be distant too. Uh, I could probably handle it. She's from Fort Eliza, Frank. Her entire family died on M Day. Now you imagine being a 16 year old girl with nowhere to go, no one to help you, and a line of pervs just like you trying their best to take advantage of her. She has a thick shell because she's uh, we'll a few Whoops. Did a wall. I didn't think we'd live in those caves too. All right. You guys hear that? Darkslit, you have to be kidding! Hurry up on that jamming beacon. You didn't mention chosen in your plan, Hobbs. We should scrub this mission. Let's quickly swap to Mammy. Get off. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Careful where you stand. We're not going to need to conserve nothing. We'll just take it all out. Done. Now my pokey frame gets to go away. We'll quickly drop back in. Ah! 
and then go down. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Arrow. You got rid of the sin interference. You say that like you doubted us. Well, not all of you. Funny. Faith, Horace, how are you doing? You've been making friends with Chosen over here. They're launching a full out attack on the Blood King's front doors. We have some chosen on our side too. Push forward on the mission. This could be an opportunity. Oh yeah, fun times are ahead now. That cavern. Blood King. Follow. Me too. Roger that. Okay, let's move out. Heads up. Chosen are really starting to hammer on the facility where we are. Okay. I switched over to Bastion. I took out the, the whole switching part because we had like a five minute conversation about who was doing what and all that good junk, so I didn't think you wanted to see that, so. Whoops. Lay down some cover spots. There's one. We've got the keys. So they can drop in the keys. One down. Five more seconds to find another key. Choo. Eyes on the second key. Eyes on the second key. Mm -hmm. We the key. We got it. Drop that second key. Only one key left. So as you can see by the up top, you can see we got the uh, clues. We got a fire cat and we got ourselves three bastion engineers ready to ruffle. That's the last key. It's the last key. Yay. Okay, so the object here now is to clean it up. The keys in our hands. Clean it all up before we start the next actual part of the mission clean up and set up is where we're at right now so I'll start my setup not gonna hack the frames yet the main frames but uh just get ourselves set up basically while they take out the rest of those guys. Takes a minute with all the uh, deployables that I have.
All right. We are set. And now it's party time. Throw an extra sentinel there. Sentinel pod. So we got pods everywhere now. As you can see during the cutscene, we have everything covered. I got Frank next to me there. The AI guy. We don't got Blood Kings doing nothing. Why these missions become a little bit easier to tweak or play around with when you've got a good set of of uh, guys to run with and you've got uh, multiple frames available so that you're able to switch for the particular part of the mission that you need to complete kind of optimizing it all the way through more or less They're not getting anywhere. Lost my rocket turret and a couple others, so we'll drop some down again. Really? AI goes down. Right. Almost there. When you're set up right with your bastion, you're really not doing that much. You let your deployables, of course, do all the hard work. I can see at the bottom of my screen how many deployables I've got active. Two rocketers, three pods, and all my actual regular ones. I don't know why I just did that. I don't know why he followed me. I'm on it. Bomb. What bomb? I always die at this part because I always leave too early or too late. Well, that's just me. It's okay. Because once I'm fully dead, I just re re <coughs> respawn out by the end. I'm on fire. 
and there's my respawn and running. That's basically it. I mean, it's a, it can be a really complicated run if you're not set up properly with your group. Oops. But in this case, things went pretty smooth. So, as always, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have comments or questions, please do feel free to leave them below. Again, this is hardcore mission. You do have to be a level 40 in order to uh, run this mission. Uh, and then we're on to uh, BWA Hardcore next. That should be the next one that we we get posted up here on the video. Before we have to go back to the first mission that I forgot to record. Anyway, until next time, thanks as always for watching. And I will see you guys soon.